Hey everyone, welcome back to Dust in the Legion Tale. Let's continue on. And we'll jump over these spikes. One thing I did find out that if, uh, with the Revival Stone, your Phoenix Down, if you run out of health, it pops you back up at full health. I, am I forgot to record, I was just seeing, so I just reloaded. So let's see. Mm, oh. Okay. Mm, nothing new. Nothing new. Your transaction. Thank you. Oh, let's go on. So it's up here in this basement. <laughs> and it's shaking. Okay. Hmm. Ha. Get up, get up. Okay. Poisoned. chicken. Okay, press up to collect. Wait, did you just... Hmm? Did you just put that thing in your inventory? <laughs> I put it in my pocket. What? Okay then. I really do think this is uh, worth the price. I got it on sale for like three bucks on Steam. Yeah. Quite enjoying this game so far. Oh. Okay. I can do things now. Okay. Hmm. Might as well. What do we got here? Friend rescue. I 
don't recall the game that he's from, but I've seen it. Okay. Can't see him like he's three. Okay. Alright, let's go back up and get out of here. Also means I gotta do some backtracking later just to uh, go through those areas. Huh. Oh. Yeah, save. What is that thing for? It's over here. Ah, his hidden stick. Alright, so this guy returns on. Here, because there's fucks all over this basement in an underground cave. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, the auto save. Oh. Running out of wall chicken. You'd better not pick any fights in your, uh, condition. Boy, this is a matter of honor and revenge and a hidden <laughs> thing <laughs> with stick. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll beat up some trolls for you. Bring me their devilish little fingers. Four of them. No, 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 40. No, 400. My broken leg demands justice. <laughs> How about I gather four trolk fingers just for you? Sound good? Ah, now that's my boy! <laughs> that's complete. Hit and stick. Now, I'll check some of the other stuff first. Okay. Nothing to say, Fidget. <laughs> I just picked up, put it in my pocket. <laughs> That's how you do it in RPGs. <laughs> oh, games. <laughs> okay. That slide, I'm probably supposed to go over there, but let's go over here for now. Alright, now I'm doing some real good damage on these things. Alright, three. Oh. Oh, hey, cool. Let's go over here. 
Did I get enough? Please let me. I'll keep. Much appreciate. Okay, don't know where they're at. Let's go to the talk to the watermelon guy. The uh, watermelon hat guy. Get a fake fidget made up. Oh, hello again. You're welcome, Corbin. And just. Yeah. <sighs> oh yeah. Went over this previous episode. He wants me to go beat up. Then be like, this is for Corbin. Welcome back. Do you sell children's toys? Or more specifically, Nimbat dolls? Nimbat. A Nimbat doll? You mean like your flying friend there? I don't believe we have anything like that in stock. But I aim to please. I'm certain I could craft one for you, assuming I had the proper materials. Let me see. With some cotton fabric and dye, I'm certain I could make a wonderful Nimbat doll for you. I gotta say, Dust, I'm feeling a little uneasy about this whole thing. <laughs> well, as you should. uneasy about Fidget? You're adorable. I think I might have him make another Fidget doll that I'll just hang on to. Forever. Forever! I don't know you anymore. Ah, excellent! You brought all the materials! Would you like me to make the doll now? Yes. Wonderful! Now, if your companion will just lie down on this fabric, Hey, you're not tracing me. Oh, well, I do need some sort of measurement. <laughs> we don't see many nimbats around here. Here, give me a pen. I'll draw it myself. Okay, there. So, <laughs> see how well I've captured every nuanced curve? Uh... <laughs> see, you can use this to measure your doll. It's perfect. Mm, what's Corbin doing? <laughs> no, it really isn't. Actually, that's the worst drawing I've ever seen. <laughs> Just shut up and make this stupid doll. <laughs> okay, okay. Just give me a moment. <laughs> uh, cotton here, a few stitches there. Uh, maybe a little more cotton up there in the head area? I don't think you're accurately capturing the pure size of Fidget's head. My head is just fine. You're the ones wearing those stupid hats. Maybe you two could form a stupid hat. <laughs> and voila! Another happy customer. And I even had enough material to make an extra one. No, I wasn't expecting to actually get one. I guess I'll just have to carry it around. Forever. <sighs> I actually feel bad giving one of these ugly things to Smobop, but here we go. I'm not talking to you anymore. Oh, come on. Don't be that way. Welcome back. A couple more wall chickens. Good on that. Got a lot of those. You honor us with your patronage. Please tell your friends. Your rich ones. Hey, Corbin. I'd love it if you could do. Yeah, that was a hit combo. Okay. My combo. Uh, Sheep, red mouse, green it. There's a get rid of box. Delete. I have to go down to that back into the cave to do a lot of stuff. But since we're up here, let's go to the hidden cove. Now that we can slide! Uh. Okay. Oh dear. Oh. All right. Come on. 
Don't tell me I need to get more items. Okay. Apparently I need something so I can climb. Because I can't seem to use my hands. What's this way? I need that exploding stuff. Okay. We'll worry about it later. Oh. I saw something. Okay, Smobop, here's a fidget doll for you. Better than the real thing. Ooh, she's pretty. Here, you can have this. Why, thank you. Thanks, Smobop. Hmm, Bob gave it to me a little while ago. He found it near the surface, I think. Well, thank you. Enjoy your fidget. I love my doll. I love her so much. Love, love, love. I love my doll. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Let's go give that box to Reed. Just in case he gives us another quest thing to come back down here. Actually, I'm kind of curious. That it glows. Let's go check it out, and I can figure out what I'm going to do for the next episode. Yeah, this is probably a good spot. I think I figured that out, but I need more practice. Swing twice, then use the dust blade while holding it towards them. I think this is closer. Oh yeah. I had to talk to your wife too. Oneida, I think is what her name was. I really like the visuals and music in this game. I'm quite pleased with it. Haha! <laughs> Lesson two don't be a dick. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay, Reed, where are ya? Don't tell me you're down here. Where'd we go? Hey, I'm Gustin. Have you seen Reed? Why are you still here, Ofka? Nah, I figured I'd take on the first monster that comes through here. I've had a... Okay, as long as you're ready. But, uh, where's Reed? I know he was... I could have sworn he was over here. Unless he's further up here? Oh, okay. You found it! Quickly, give it to me! Relax, Reed, it's just a box. Just a box? No, no, it's not just a box. Didn't you hear it whispering to you? The whispers. The lies. 
I'll say. They told me the box was filled with cupcakes. I opened it up and nothing was inside. <gasps> oh. oh, no, 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 you opened the box. Why did you open the box? I told you not to open the box. Quick, take it back. I can't hold this. Hey, what are you doing? I thought you wanted your box back. I went through a lot of trouble getting that. Yeah, we had to find this girl in Mud Paw and then make her a doll that looked like me, then trade the doll for the box. Honestly, it was a bit roundabout. <laughs> Do you know what you've done? You've unleashed the power inside this ancient prison, and now it will consume your very soul. Oh, no. Okay, Reed, I really think it's time you went inside and got some sleep. I think... Wait. What's happening to me? There's something... Something's wrong what? with me. I must Reed, what was that? What's going on? I feel... I feel... Weak. Like something's sucking the life right out of my body. And it's already started. Oh, why did you have to open the box? I said not to open the box. Do not open the ark. Let's not dwell on the whole who opened the box thing. The box was open. That's in the past. We can't change that. <laughs> we should be focusing on the future and, you know, less about me. The presence inside this box, it latches onto your soul. It tries to take over your mind. The only way to stop it is to break the barrier between body and soul. In other words, Dust, you will need to kill yourself. <gasps> Raid! It really is the only way, Dust. You mustn't take too long, or, or you could end up like me. You know what? I love this plan. I'm happy to be a part of it. <laughs> Shut up, Fidget! I can feel my life draining away every moment. Reed, what do I have to do? Travel outside the village, pick a fight with some monsters, and lose. If you do it in time, the presence latched onto your soul will be shaken loose and returned to the box, and you will return back to your normal self. That is, assuming you do it in time. Oh, Does dear. Seriously be considering? Fidget, I don't have time to argue. I can feel it draining my oh, life away. Dear. We need to get out of the village and fast. Really? Oh. And then we died. Oh. Um, okay, I don't know what's here. Oh, damn it. And of course it kills me as I'm dying. Okay, hit me again. He will be purged from my soul. Are you okay now? I think so, yeah. As soon as I took that killing blow, I felt something. Like a weight lifted. We should check in with Reed. Yeah, the sooner you get rid of that box, the better. And because you're the one that did it. There. Okay. Well, let's figure out how we're going to get out of here, then we'll return that box to read. <laughs> so thank you for joining me today. Y'all have a nice day.